Cole Perfetti, Saginaw Spirit from Whitby, Ontario. I play center. Well, there's 13 NHL teams in attendance tonight to watch this game. They're going to get an eyeful of Cole Perfetti here tonight. Perfetti certainly impressed in the OHL this season. He was voted as the smartest player, the best playmaker, and the best stick handler in the Western Conference in the annual OHL coaching poll. Cole Perfetti has an uncanny ability at his age to command the speed and pace in which the game is played. Well, I think a guy who's made a huge rise is Cole Perfetti of the Saginaw Spirit. And here's a guy who's been inspired by being cut from Canada's World Junior Team. What's interesting about this player is that with 37 goals last year, there was no issue in that department. He started to add that dual threat ability to his game. Call it hockey sense, call it feel. He has the best IQ of any player in the 2020 NHL draft. Perfetti. Look out, walking in, nice move, what a goal! Oh my, Cole Perfetti! Here's Cole Perfetti with a chance to win the game. Perfetti back in, he scores! Cole Perfetti wins it in overtime on a breakaway. Very close to being offside. Now Perfetti back in on goal, scores! Cole Perfetti! Cole Perfetti was drafted 5th overall in the 2018 OHL Priority Selection by the Saginaw Spirit. The Saginaw Spirit are pleased to select with our first round pick, Cole Perfetti from the Vaughn Kings. Living in Whitby, Cole grew up surrounded by the Ontario Hockey League. The Perfetti served as a billet family for the Oshawa Generals for 8 years, billeting Andy Andreoff, Jeff Brown, and Cole Castles. Now billeting in his own OHL city, Cole knows the impact these players had on him, and he goes out of his way to spend extra time with his billet brother Cooper. Yeah, from the age of like six, we were billeting Oshawa Generals. We had three um, over an eight-year span, and um, it was a great experience for me. We got to see, got to welcome three great hockey players in the family and great people that we still have friendships with now. And um, it was pretty cool to, as a six-year-old, to have people in the OHL come into your house and play mini sticks and play video games and um, want to hang out with you and um, what they taught me I'm kind of using now with my Billa brother. Um, I'm always asking to hang out with him and try to play video games or, or go out on the backyard rink or mini sticks whatever he wants to do. Um, he's a big ping pong guy so I'm always trying to play ping pong with him but uh, you know they taught me a lot in how to act off the ice and how to treat people with respect and um, I've been, I've been trying to do the same um, for, for my billet brother and my billet family. Having experience knowing what the OHL is all about, when Cole was selected fifth overall, it made the choice of playing in Saginaw that much easier, even though he had a scholarship offer from the University of Michigan. We sat down with my family and my advisor and um, we kind of thought that the OHL would be the best route after weighing the pros and cons, just that it would be the most beneficial for me to to, and, and the quickest route to get to the NHL and um, you know I, it's, I thought it was going to be the best for my development and, and so far it has been, it's been everything and more and um, the NHL's offered me um, lots and I've learned so much and, and it's been a great um, development lead for me. One of the biggest factors for Cole taking the OHL developmental route was how the league mimics the NHL and prepares players for the next step not just on the ice, but all the off-ice work Cole has been putting into getting his body, routine, and nutrition right to elevate his on-ice work to leave a strong impression on NHL teams heading into draft day. Yeah, well, the OHL is a pro league. It mimics the NHL, and um, a lot of things that you learn in the OHL um, will translate to the NHL. You, gotta, you learn how to be a pro, um, how to take care of your body off and on the ice, and um, you know, when you're home, um, make sure you're getting rest and hydrating and, and eating the right things and putting, putting good fuel into your body. So um, I've definitely learned how to carry myself on and off the ice and, and take care of my body to, to help me perform at, at my highest capabilities. As an OHL rookie, Cole led first-year players in goals, assists, and points, setting the Spirit franchise record for goals in a season by a rookie and followed that up in his draft eligible season by setting the Saginaw Spirit franchise record for points in a season with 111. He's shown over his two seasons that he's an elite goal scorer and playmaker. He has the hockey sense that all top passers do to wait an extra second or make that one extra pass that leaves the defense flat footed. His quick release allows him to bury pucks when he has a lane and he's always a step ahead of defenders in the offensive zone. I think I'm a two, two way forward. Um, I think my hockey sense and IQ um, stand out. I think that's my, my highest um, ability and, and best aspect. 
Um, I think if I compete and uh, you know, I think I got a pretty good shot, um, it makes me uh, a threat in the offensive zone from my playmaking and from my goal scoring ability. After a strong rookie season, Perfetti recorded eight goals and six assists in 16 playoff games as the spirit would fall in Game 7 of the Western Conference Final to the eventual champion Guelph Storm. A loss that fueled him through the entire summer to get better and overcome in his draft eligible season. Losing the, in Game 7 last year to Guelph um, stung and, and it hurt over the summer. Um, being so close from, from the finals and, and, and coming up short, it, it was tough to, to swallow. And um, you know, I, I said to myself in the summer, I really want to do whatever I can to help the team win, to, to get back to that position and um, you know, go for another OHL championship and, and try to get over that hump of the Game 7 in the, in the Western Conference Finals. Cole knows that he's only getting one draft eligible campaign and has been trying to slow down and enjoy it as much as possible. He puts a lot of pressure on himself and can't wait to hear his name called by an NHL franchise to share the moment with his family and continue his hockey career. You, know, you only go through the OHL once, you only go through your draft year once and just be able to, to relax and have fun and, and make the most of it. Um, it's going to be humbling, it's going to be, it's going to be an honor, um, it's going to be relieving you know, all these years um, of work and, 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 and dedication and, and for my parents to, to put all their time and effort into the game. And, um, for me, it's going to be it's going to be a relief, but it's going to be um, a whirlwind of emotions. I'm going to be excited and um, can't wait to can't wait for that day to come, and um, I'm really excited for it.